Hi everybody, welcome back to the Oracle Integration Knowledge Jack series and this is the seventh part of this series. If you have not looked at the earlier part, please look at the previous videos of this series which will helpful to validate your knowledge. So if you have not subscribed our channel yet, please click on our subscribe button and click on a bell icon to get regular updates to to get regular notification as in when we publish a new video so guys let's get started so now let's look at the first question of this part what is the connection time out of all outbound adapter invocation. So whenever you are invoking any, any application with the help of any adapter, so what will be the connection time out? So when the adapter will try to make a connection and if connection is not established successfully and it will try to ping that application regularly, but there is a certain time out in which your integration will fail. So, but what is the time out limit which is set? So let's look at the options. 300 seconds, 240 seconds, 180 seconds, 100 seconds. 300 seconds equivalent to five minutes, 240 equivalent to four minutes, 180 is like three minutes, so and 100 seconds. So which is the connection time out? And these are the good candidates for your interviews as well. So the correct answer is 300 seconds. But these limits are as per the time of this video, but these are subject to change in, in later uh, or future releases of Oracle integration. But I saw this time out since last five to six years. This has not been changed. Maybe in the next few years also, the the time outs is going to remain the same. And these are the hard limits which you cannot change. What is the next question? The next question is, what is the read time out of all outbound adapter invocation? And here are the options on your on this screen. 240 seconds, 300 seconds, 180 and 100 seconds. Look at the question carefully. What is the read timeout? The previous question was about connection timeout. Now here is the, is the question, read timeout. And again, the answer is 300 seconds. 300 seconds, which is equivalent to five minutes. If your invocation, if the external invocation does not read the data within five minutes, then your integration will fail. Okay, now let's look at the next question. The next question is, what is the maximum duration? Read the question carefully. What is the maximum duration of asynchronous integration flaws and post which instance is marked as aborted? So when you build your asynchronous integration, for example, you are receiving the business events and you are not sending the response back. That is called asynchronous. What is the maximum duration of asynchronous integration flows and post which instance is marked as aborted? Let's look at the options. The options are three hours, five minutes, six hours, infinite. The maximum duration of asynchronous integration flows and post which instance is marked as aborted, meaning what is the maximum duration our asynchronous integration can run? Three hours, five minutes, six hours in finite. The correct answer is six hours. If your asynchronous integration running and if that does not complete within six hours, your integration will be aborted by integration cloud automatically. So the maximum duration is six hours. So when you are building your asynchronous integration, make sure it completes within six hours window. Otherwise it will be aborted. Okay, what is the next question? What is the maximum duration of scheduled integration flows and post which 
instance is marked as aborted. Now, this question is about schedule integration. The previous integration, the previous questions was about asynchronous. Now, this question is about schedule. Options are three hours, five minutes, six hours, infinite. So when you build your schedule integration, again, there's a timeout limit. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is six hours again. So if your schedule integration is not completed within six hours window, then your integration will be aborted within six hours. So the next question is, what is the maximum duration of synchronous integration flows and post which instance is marked with an HTTP error as 502? What is the maximum duration of synchronous integration? And post which instance is marked with an HTTP error 502? So the options are 10 minutes, 5 minutes, four minutes, six minutes. So if your synchronous integration, like your REST APIs, where you are sending requests at the GET or POST, and you are also waiting for the response. So request and response immediately. That is called synchronous integration. What is the timeout limit? And the correct answer is five minutes. If your synchronous integration does not complete, Within five minutes window, you will receive an 502 HTTP error. Okay. And by the way, these are the hard limit, which is not configurable. Okay. The next question is, what is the JavaScript execution timeout threshold limit? So when you use JavaScript as a library and you use the function in, in Mapper, which is how much time it's going to take before it times out. So the options are 20 seconds, 240 seconds, 15 seconds, and 120 seconds. The answer is 15 seconds. If your JavaScript function does not complete within 15 seconds, you will receive the timeout limit. The next question is, what is the maximum number of iterations to execute for a while loop? What is the maximum number of iteration to execute for a while loop? So when you use the while loop, there's a maximum number of times a while loop can run. The options are 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and 4,000. How many times you can execute your while loop? And 5,000 is again an option. 5,000. So you can run while loop at max 5,000 times. If it goes beyond, this while loop will not execute and you may receive an error. Let's get into the next question. The next question is, what is the maximum number of parameters that JavaScript function supports in Oracle integration? So when you write your JavaScript function, you, you can provide the input parameters but how many parameters you can pass to the JavaScript function from Oracle integration? Let's look at the options. 10 parameters, 20, 30, 40. The number of parameters that you can pass. The answer is 20 parameters. So you cannot pass more than 20 parameters while calling the JavaScript function in Oracle integration. The next question is, what is timeouts for all connectivity agent-based outbound adapter invocation, be it REST, be it SOAP, be it EBS, be it database, any other adapter, any adapter that you use with connectivity agent for the outbound invocation, what is the constraint in terms of the timeouts? The answers are, the options are 240 seconds, 300 seconds, 360 seconds, and 180 seconds. Read the question carefully. The timeout and very, very important. So when you are designing your integration using, with the help of agent, make sure it should complete within the timeout. Otherwise, you will receive an error. The correct answer is 240 seconds, which is four minutes. So if your integration will not complete 
So your invocation will not complete within four seconds, four minutes, then integration will receive a timeout error. Okay, what is the next question? The next question is, what is the maximum number of outbound emails you can send from Oracle integration in rolling 24 hour window? So you can use notification action to send the emails, but how many emails you can send in, in 24 hour window? The options are 5,000, 8,000, 10,000, 12,000. How many emails you can send in a single day? So the answer is 10,000. You can also see from your dashboard where you will find out the number of emails you have sent out in a day. And that is rolling actually. So every day you can send 10,000. So guys, that's all about this. I hope you found this useful. And this is again a very important from certification standpoint of view. If you like this, please like, comment and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get regular updates and click on our bell icon. You can find us on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. Thank you. Bye-bye.